Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all and today we'll be trying brand new move from the brand new community day. Yesterday was the community day and leave any is having shadow claw now. So let's test it out. I mean, I've already tested it out and here's the video for you all. Right, shadow claw is good and it's got pretty good new movesets. Look at that. But the thing is, if you want to run this guy, then we need a very good answer against those things like area DOS, talon flames, right? Well, Azumarill really is answer against Talonflame, but not the answer against Ariados. But Licky Licky can do good against uh, both Ariados and Talonflames because of the fast move rollout, because one is bug, one is flying, fire, right? But you can pair it with any other teams. Uh, those were the two weaknesses that I wanted to point, uh, that I wanted to note. But there are going to be other weaknesses. Yeah, you can pair it with others. And I tested it out. And it's pretty decent. It's not bad guys it's not bad because shadow claw is the one of the best fast move in the game uh, you guys know what shadow claw did to ferrari gator right it shaked the entire uh pvp world right and yep leaveny is good decent and without any further ado let's uh start the battles here And there you go, Clefable in the lead. Well, we have one against teams that consists of uh, Ariados, Talonflames, a lot of those. Yeah, so it's in this battle is going to be Clefable, right? <clears throat> Alright, Clefable, take this Leaf Blade. Look at that damage from Leaf Blade. And I caught their... I tried to catch their Moonblast into my Licky Licky, but they threw their uh, Swift. Swift! Alright, All right. so it's a little bit of lag there, as usual. No problem. And then now they throw the Moonblast and then come in with their Malamar. Let's just throw the Shadow Ball, right? And guys, why are nobody uh, sending their battle videos to me? Please submit your battle videos. I'm not having enough battle videos, right? And I let... Uh, okay. Our Licky Licky is gone now. And they shielded. So I come with my Azumarill because they cannot throw anything against our Azumarill, right? The moves are going to be Super Power and Foul Play, which are both resisted by our Azu here. And... Uh, you also need answers against Bastodon if you want to run Livani, 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 I don't know. And I suggest you have Hydro Pump in your Azumarill if you want to run Azumarill with your Livani because Bastodon just uh, shreds with those fast moves Smackdown. I'm farming them fully down and they for their move. I'm gonna shield it. And this was the Moon Blast. And there you go, they've got Jump Pluff. Now you might be wondering what do we do against Jump Pluff teams, right? Here's the answer. It's jump off and they shield the ice beam because ice beam does so much damage now here here's where i play really simple and straightforward i just stay let them throw the move because i know one accessor is going to be enough until this moment shadow claw and accessor is going to be enough that's what i was thinking against this uh, this much health from the jump off but you know what Jump Love is one tanky 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 mon and i don't want to take another aerial ace hit so I just threw this X scissor, but it was not enough, but one Shadow Claw or two Shadow Claw after this was enough. And we will reach to the Leaf Blade before anything from this Malamar and we take the victory here. GG's. Now moving on to another battle. <laughs> Pelipper, there you go. As soon as we run Malam uh, uh, Leave Any, we get Bastodon leads, we get Pelipper, Mantine leads, Talonflame leads, right? And I swap into my Azumarill, they bring in the Lantern. How do we win this? How are we gonna win this? Right, so we throw the player up. I mean, there are there are ways to win, it's not like that. And let's tank the Thunderbolt and we will reach to the player up. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look, look, look at that. Right? And we put the pressure here, but we were not able to knock them out. And they actually didn't tap because they wanted bubble damage and so that we could not farm more with Shadow Claw. What a great skill. Wow. The best skill in the game. Great job, trainer. What a best skill. Like, yeah. That's what that was completely new. I never saw that kind of skill. Wow. Just joking. <laughs> And let's just throw this leaf blade. I actually thought they would shield and they didn't shield. Then I come in with my Lucky Lucky. They had Dugong at the back. So they were running ABA water. Wow. Strong team. And there you go. They shield a move there. And where I'm going to shield, it's going to be the drill run. 
And let's just throw this shadow ball. Look at the lag, guys. Look at the lag. Oh my god, the lag. We gotta do some some trick here to win. To like uh I mean so like uh we want to like force them to shield here. That is why I throw the body slam there. I wanted to force them to shield. So the thing here is let's build up to the body slam and then oh no no I uh, just coming without leaving and they could have just stayed with Dugong. That's a mistake by them. Now <laughs> They fall right into my trap. Now I can farm them down just shielding this. And we can throw the Shadow Ball against that Dugong. We want a bad lead, bad counter swap. There you go. They will not get to the move since Wing Attack was nerfed. Yeah, I know they are still not into the IC win, so I could uh, do one more and they surrender. GG's. Moving on to another battle. It's going to be Sableye. Alright, Sableye, what are you going to do? My name is Rocky Bilbao. <clears throat> And let's roll this leaf blade. And they like they shield it alright. So I'm gonna shield this as well. Because I'm not sure how much foul play is gonna do against. I come in with my leaky leak as a safe swap, and they're like kinda staying in. Why are you staying in, man? Shadow Claws are resisted. Foul play is not doing that much. But it did a lot of damage. So let's just throw the shadow ball. No messing around, no towing around. Let's throw the shadow ball. All right, this is going to be the body slam. Don't see it is resisted, but they shield it. I don't need to shield. Yet another foul play. This is going to be just foul play. And let's throw the shadow ball, which is going to be enough. That's what I was thinking. But oh yeah, that was enough. And they've got bastard on. How do we win this? All right, so we get to the shadow ball. But the thing is, we don't have hydro pump in our Azu. So what I'm gonna do here is just tank uh, the thing, make Azumarill our punching bag, right? And throw as many fast moves or moves or as many leaf blades from my Levini. And they come in with their Azu. They had Azu at the back. All right, this is gonna be great. So I'm gonna invest one shield for that ice beam, and two leaf blades is gonna be enough for this uh, Azumarill. And what I'm gonna do is over farm by a lot. Because I'm gonna have to throw as much leaf blades as possible against that bastion in order, in order to take the victory in this game. Look at that. Look at that. This leaf blade is gonna be enough, right? And I can like build up two double here and just throw this leaf blade and some bubbles from Azumarill is gonna be enough. <clears throat> oh, oh, we don't even need to throw the bubbles. The shadow claws after this leaf blade is gonna be enough. And we take the victory here. GG's. Moving on to another battle. It's going to be Obama Snow. Kind of a core breaker for our team. <laughs> but Leaky Leaky can win against Obama Snow. I throw the X-Scissor, which is going to do a lot of damage against their grass timing. And plus it's got stab. That is why they shield there. And I try to catch the Weather Ball or the Icy Wind there in my Azumarill. But yeah, they like they didn't fall for it. They throw the Energy Ball, which is a lot of super heavy damage. And you know what? I fall for them. Oh, I, that's the wrong phrase. I fall in there to their trick. There was the icy wind and I like shielded it. Now here, here's where, where our opponent makes the mistake here. Throw this player off. Do you know what? They try to farm me fully down. Let's throw another player up. Alright, you wanna mess around? You have to now invest both shields, which they aren't doing, so they let their toxic croak go. And they're fully farming us down with the bomb snow. Now we can align our rollout user against that ice. <laughs> now it's gonna be easy for us, alright. So, and it's gonna be the Medicham at the back. Wow. Shadow Claw super effective. X is super effective. Oh, it's not super effective. Sorry. They're fighting as well. And that was the power of punch. I knew that is why I didn't shield it there. We we'll reach through the sleeve blade, and sleeve blade is all we need. There we go. And this is yet another power up punch. And I just throw the body slam because I don't want to take their damage from counter boosted with the, the power up punch. And that was not enough, but we happen to take one hit there. And just throw the body slam. We got a shield. And this body slam, I believe, is not going to be enough. Yep. And some fast moves. The super really fast moves is going to be enough. They need double, which they cannot we take the victory. GG. Moving on to another battle, it's gonna be Lantern. That's a fantastic lead. Finally, we get an amazing, great lead here. Alright, just just through this leaf blade. 
Who's gonna do a lot of super effective damage against that? Dolphin. Alright, Dolphin, bro. Throw it on the boat. And they throw the... Oh, yeah, that, that was the surf. Alright, so... Uh, it's not like... Uh, let's throw the move here. Which they don't... Yeah, they definitely want shield. Why, why would they shield, right? And it's gonna be Clotzar at the back. Now, what are we gonna do here? He is going to be... Uh, we're gonna save swap. To know what's the what they have at the back. For that we like build up to an X scissor and then come with our Licky Licky and they bring in their Azumarill. They had Azumarill at the back, so which is kind of good because we can like tank a lot of them, a lot of the moves in our Licky Licky. They could have just stayed because Licky Licky is a bad matchup against uh Clotzar because of the fast move and yeah. Shadow Ball is non-stab and they actually oh wow that's interesting. Alright, look at the lag there. I'm sorry for the lag. Actually, uh, I don't know. I'm not the one who should be sorry for the lag. But I think I, I'm the one. Oh, we reached a lot of Shadow Balls here, man. <clears throat> and hey guys, we... In our country... We're having a festival for 10 days. It's the national festival. It's like tradition, religious, uh, cultural thing. It's called Doshin. You guys can Google it. And they snipe with their Clotzar, which is absolutely fine, because we got shields! And I want them to throw yet another move, I'm gonna shield, reach to double ice with me. This is gonna be the first, you see the shield. And yeah, I can just safely shield this, just go for the ice beam, and then... Uh, we've got Leaf Blade loaded in our Leaf any. They surrender. GG. Moving on to another battle, it's gonna be Clotsire. Now Clotsire, against the Clotsire, the thing is, it doesn't matter if they have Stone Age or Sludge Bomb, along with Earthquake. Because in the lead, it really doesn't matter. Two shields, you win. If you two shield, then they got a two shield. You win. All you need to do is just throw in the CMPs. Don't risk about the timings. That is why we throw in CMP. And we will just win in two shields, like... This is going to be the perfect example for you guys. They shield, right? So we can just shield this. And we will reach the double leaf plate before they will reach to their sludge bomb or the stone edge. That is why they know that. That is why they come in with their talent flame. And I, in a good timing, come in to Licky Licky to transfer the incinerated damage into my Licky Licky. Thank God that incinerated wasn't registered in our against our leave any. So they Brave Bird there, wow, alright, they Brave Bird, so we can come in with our Azumarill, they reached another Brave Bird, which I don't really care. We got a lot of energy stored in our leave any right? they throw yet another Brave Bird, and they come in with their Gastro. I, I snipe with my Leaf Blade, which will one shot this Gastro on. And we'll reach to another, and uh, we have double, so this is really not gonna be enough, but they are not at their move yet. And yeah, we don't need to worry, so just, yeah, they throw their energy with one bubble, we can take the victory here, and it, we actually have Ice Beam, which means we won this by, we won this game by far. That is what it means. GG's. Moving on to another battle, it's gonna be Swampert, alright, fantastic lead, right? Swampert, alright. And no towing around, just throw the move. No messing. Need the shield. Take the shield. So, wow, and they bring in their A slash. I should have come in with my Azumarill, but I don't know why I threw the Leaf Blade because I wanted as much spotlight against Leaf Annie. I mean, for Leaf Annie, <laughs> yeah, as possible. And so, what we can do here is just go for the player off. And just bobble them down. We can tank another drill run here, no problem, because we're a Zoomeril. Yeah, so we can just bobble them down after this. If they don't shield this, they will not reach to the move. Because they're so low. Look at that. Oh, wow. If they were Shadow, they would have been gone by that player up. And wow, they've got Whimsicott. This needs to be shielded. Alright, and oh, they don't shield. Alright, that's great. They keep their keep keeping their shield. Alright, so uh, yeah, just hit the seed bomb, 
and the undercharge here and i was stupid enough to think i would reach the ice beam but i didn't reach to the ice beam but you know what i really i don't really care because we got a punching bag here you can punch whatever you want whatever move you want and i don't yeah this was seed bomb which we would survive but i decided to shield because i know it's kind of over, already over here right because yeah i can just catch the hydro cannon here which is not going to do a lot of damage because we're grass and we can reach to the move here double i mean we can reach to the leaf blade they don't have shield and it overkills the swamper gg moving on to the battle there we go talonflame lead Licky Licky has a safe swap, and they're kind of staying in because they want a Brave Bird. Alright, I throw the Body Slam. No towing around. Alright, no, no missing. After one more, if I had thrown... Yeah, they would have shielded anyway. And they bring in the Tavenant. Wow, Tavenant is not a good answer against Licky Licky because we got Shadow Ball. Shadow Claws are resisted. And look at that. It one-shots them. They don't shield. Wow! What kind of gameplay? Uh, they, you should have brought your Quagsire, man. I think they misclicked. Quagsire was better matchup against Licky Licky. Yeah, they should have brought, yeah. Oh, yeah, they misclicked, misclicked, misclicked. And a lot of the guys asking, like, uh, I don't show the first uh, in our video, like, the uh, ELO. Because, like, today I'm at 2400, and they snipe there, look at that. Today I'm at 2400, yesterday I was at 22, and tomorrow I'll be at 2300, and eventually we'll get there slowly, so... Yeah, just for while editing, I just don't show the thing because I wanted to do it fast. And these are just 10, I think 10 battles and it will take 20 minutes to make the video. I mean, it takes one hour to one hour to make the video, but this is going to be uh, like a 20 minute long video, right? And if I keep showing the battle starting screen, then it might reach to 25 minutes for 10 battles each battle. That is a reason, and the second reason is I don't want to like you know. Uh, let's just enjoy the gameplay, right? We GG, we, we took the victory there. We won a talent flame lead, and there you go. It's gonna be Malamar in the lead, and whenever there's Malamars, expect Duong safe swap. A lot of the guys do that, but a lot of the guys don't do that. But average guys do. Uh, in average, a lot of the guys have Duong at the back or the Clotsire if they have Malamar at the front. Let's just throw yet another Excessor. The shield and I'm coming with my... Ooh, look at that area loss. Versus our Leaky Leaky. This is a great matchup for us. I don't need to shield any of this, right? They're gonna throw the Trailblaze. Because they want to boost their attack. And we reach to the Shadow Ball. Which is not gonna be enough. But look at that fast move damage. That is gonna be the super effect here. We're bomb box typing. Am I talking too fast? I'm sorry, I'll not talk too fast. And booster trail base, not enough. And we get the shadow ball after farming them down with the shadow ball. We hit, and it's gonna be the Umbreon, and it's game over because we got a at the back. So, what I do here is just come in with my Leveny, and they bring in their Malamar. All right, Malamar. Thing here is I'm gonna shield and I'm gonna reach to the move and just with X Scissor, which is gonna be very, 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 very enough. And if they don't want to get hit with the Exorcist, they need to throw, so it's already game over. And I show my Azumarill and I don't tap, expecting them to like. But they keep on throwing, alright, that's fine. That is very, very fine. You need like five and a half last resort. GG's. And there you go. Now they surrender. All right, moving on to another battle. It's gonna be Sand Slash. All right, Sand Slash. That was a Shadow Claw. That is why I stayed there. If it's Powder Snow, you gotta swap. And a little bit of lag, or I don't know, some kind of glitch. And I'm gonna shield the Super Ice Punch, and I'm down a shield, which is not good. And they come in with their AWAC. A little marrow axe so eat the shadow ball and you know what so strange they throw flame wheel 
they were running flame wheel so now that oh they don't shield all right you don't want to shield and they're coming with their azumarill why didn't they shield that man they had two shields we have only one and they had neutral good hitting flame wheel since <laughs> i don't know they throw the move here all right and we can align our guy here and they catch the leaf blade into their little sand slash that's fine now we can come in with our azumarill and tank a lot of moves fully found it down we are even on shields that is one one and we have two mons one is grass one is neutral so this game is ours GG's. The fact that they didn't shield that Shadow Ball. I think they called it as a bait, but it was not. Wow, in today's video, I have not baited even once, right? And yeah, I think they let it go, and it is going to be the GG. And moving on to another battle, it's going to be a Zoomerill, which is good for us. They are staying because they want to ice beam and they want a shield from that ice beam, which is like a guaranteed shield. And there we go. I'm gonna shield the ice beam. Ooh, let's go for another one. And the thing is, there. Did you see that? I over tapped a little bit of misplay. Over tapped there, man. Oh, I over tapped. And they can now come in with their cloth sire. We have double. That is why we throw here. Now, what do we do here is just build up to a lot of energy because we know they are, will not reach the move soon. So, again, I build up to one and then try to catch the move, which is going to be the Stone Edge. We have oh and they had mega horn who runs mega horn man maybe they had some different plan there maybe they put wrong cloths are and yet still they are throwing mega horn that's not a good play they come with their azu i forced them to like shield strange I come with the leaky, they don't get to the move, we farm them down, we have a body slam, and it's gonna be the mandibles. It's gonna be a little tough. They have clots. Uh... I was like, okay, how many moves I'm gonna need, man? <laughs> So the thing here is, uh, I just need to, okay, we got to move, and they come with the cloths are, we got move everywhere, like in Azumarill, in Levani, so I don't care if I had to throw a body slam here, and I have another body slam for this mandibus, and let's just throw that, and I want to like force them to throw the energy at me, because I've got Ice Beam in Azumarill, I've got x we've played in Levani, they throw the move here. Let me check. That. We got a lot of energy everywhere. Come with my uh, Azu and just throw the ice beam. I could have just bobbled them. Why did I throw the move? But anyways, it's a GG. And that is it, guys. I hope you like this uh, Shadow Claw leave any content. And if you like the content, please leave like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Thank you so much, guys.